everyone this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to uh, discuss a recent genetic find now recently uh, this year there was a study published by Wang et al in the Nature Communications uh, Journal and it uh, focused on uh, the populations of uh, the prehistoric Caucasus so the populations of the Kura Haraxes culture as well as that of Mycop and uh, the uh, Caucasus uh, Yamnaya populations as well as the Yamnaya populations from Ukraine but anyways uh, this video will specifically focus on the Kura Araxes Mycop uh, populations as these uh, are the populations closest to contemporary Iran and as you all know the Kura Araxes culture was a major culture centered in prehistoric Iran in the northwest as well as in Azerbaijan Armenia and the Caucasus as well as the Mycop culture which was located in the similar uh, in the in the environs of uh, the same geographic location this study is free and is viewable so you do not need to pay anything uh, for to unlock it it was published on uh, fourth of uh, this month it's titled ancient human genome wide data from the 3000 year old interval in the Caucasus corresponds with eco geographic uh, regions and it took a look at again the population of the Mycop culture Kuraraxes culture as well as the other cultures of Yamnaya and related culture now one of the major finds of this study is that there is no Mycop ancestry in Yamnaya and uh, this is major as many believed Mycop to be a predecessor culture of Yamnaya but this is not true as there is again no Mycop ancestry in Yamnaya and the Kura Araxes culture was vast the samples uh, in this study were taken were taken from uh, Dagestan and uh, Armenia for the Kura Araxes culture and they these Kura Araxes culture uh, samples surprisingly cluster fairly close to contemporary Armenians and Iranians now one difference between Iranians and these Kura Araxes culture samples are that these uh, samples uh, had mostly Caucasian related ancestry and not Neolithic Iranian ancestry they were not Neolithic Iran derived but nonetheless this is still fairly interesting and the here is now a PCA which shows the findings so here you have uh, firstly you have the uh, Dar dark Wadi Mashoko uh, culture uh, uh, samples this is from a similar region and uh, these uh, samples cluster with contemporary Iranians but again are mostly of Caucasian stock and then followed by these are the Kura Raxi samples in uh, the dark black sorry rather the black uh, crosses and uh, they cluster just southern of Iranians but very close to Iranians and the final population here are the Mycop samples and again they cluster within the environs of the contemporary Iranian populations now nothing surprising here all of these populations were near eastern they were not Nordic or derived from Nordic populations they were near eastern populations and they gave rise to these great cultures and they cluster fairly close to Iranians now the purpose of this video was only to highlight the fact that these ancient populations found in and around Iran cluster with contemporary Iranians despite having some a degree of differing ancestry but nonetheless they cluster with Iranian populations and very close to Iranian populations which isn't surprising considering their location also considering their history and the culture of the region but nonetheless this proves that uh, the false assertion that Iran was not uh, surrounded by native population and there were barely any native population by the time the Aryans arrived into Iran is not true and I've highlighted the Aryan sample here as well and this act was the sample that made the Chalcolithic uh, Iranians also highlighted closer to the contemporary Iranians so you can clearly see there are only a few Iranian outliers there are only four Iranian outliers and all of these outliers form are very distinct from the main batch of Iranians which are cl all clustered together and these one of them is likely an Iranian Arab another is probably uh, the other two are probably Iranians with minor Semitic admixture and one of them is an Iranian Bandari I believe all the way up co in between uh, South Asians uh, and the Iranians and that's not surprising either but nonetheless the majority of the Iranians cluster together and they cluster exactly where they should and also these recent findings cluster with the Iranian populations which is quite interesting as well despite being fairly distinct from Iranians as they did not have much step admixture some of them lacked 
step and make sure completely but nonetheless their Caucasian ancestry led them to cluster with Iranians and this is fairly interesting we're still waiting on ancient Sassanid era and Achaemenid era samples but once those are released then it will be the nail in the coffin for those uh, individuals who believe that Iranians are significantly mixed with Semites and Arabs this is not true the likelihood of this is very low as Iran was populated by by between 8 to 11 million at the time of the Arab invasion and for the Arabs to replace the Iranian population it's close to impossible so yeah this was a major find of this study and all evidence actually proves there to be 90 to 95 percent genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age but these samples just prove that uh, you know that populations found from the time from just before the arrival of the Aryans to Iran cluster with Iranians and do not cluster with Nordics or Europeans. So all of these great cultures, the Kuraraxis culture as well as the Maikop culture, those people were just like modern Iranians and clustered with them. And uh, this is quite remarkable and quite interesting despite having more Caucasian admixture and less uh, Semitic related admixture. Nonetheless, these populations are very similar to contemporary Iranians and were not Nordics or Europeans. So these great cultures were not Nordic or European cultures and they were native cultures and many of these native cultures surpassed the, the any Nordic or uh, uh, European culture of the time as, except for Yamnaya which is the main Indo-European cluster but nonetheless this is quite interesting and this is all I wanted to say for this video. So yeah that's essentially it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and this was just a short genetic video but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked it. Thank you and take care.